today we're going to talk about the Alpha Haunt Fuzz. This is an expansion of our Haunt Fuzz. So it's got all those high gain, gated, squashy fuzz sounds that you love from the Haunt, but lots more too. There's now a fuzz range switch, so you can get a little less gain or a little more gain. There's a new bias control, and that basically helps the gate work even more, so you can get those fully gated, fully sputtery sounds out of it. Uh, there's a new switch that controls the sweep of the tone control, so you got two different sweeps and then a version where you just bypass the tone stack entirely. There's an enhance knob, instead of that mix knob that blends from clean to fuzz, you've got two parallel signals. You've got a volume for your fuzz, and then you've got a volume for a transistor boost that's clean-ish. Basically, you get a lot of volume and a little grid around the edges. You blend them to taste, and then there's a master volume to set it to wherever you want. And a three-band EQ that affects uh, both that transistor-boosted thing that we call enhance and uh, the fuzz. Let's hear what our clean signal is. We got a Les Paul running into an Otis. And uh, let's get to a low gain fuzz setting. We'll put the gates and uh, bias controls to so where they're just wide open. Tone, uh, noon. Put all the EQ controls in the middle. Bring our enhance all the way down so we can hear just the fuzz sounds. So here's a light articulate fuzz from the haunt. Bring the tone knob up, gets a little more open. So this is an example of how low the fuzz can go now. We'll bring just the fuzz knob up. That's max fuzz when the fuzz range switch is down. If we flip that switch up, it just gets that extra bit heavier. Now you just got the highest gain available. Well, what if you want more? Well, there's a gate control. And basically what the gate control does is it controls like the squashy, compressed character of the effect. So when it's all the way down, it uh, lets your attack through pretty well. It doesn't clamp down too quickly. But as you bring the gate control up, it's going to let less and less signal in initially, and then more as your notes bloom out. So if we set it at about noon, we start to get that kind of clamping down effect. You hear your attack gets squished, and then it blooms out into a, a wider fuzz at the end. Bring the gate all the way up, and you hear it actually get quiet when you dig into it because it's just getting so squashed. And the bias control, this is new to the Alpha Haunt. Uh, so the gate control you may be familiar with from the Haunt. The bias control basically helps the gate get even smaller. So the, what the bias is doing is controlling the power to the transistor, which you don't need to worry about transistors. Basically, they're where all the gain is coming from here. So all your distortion is transistors. And as we give it less power by turning the bias up, it gets even a little bit more squashed until when it's at its max and there's no signal happening. You hear how it's, you give it a little bit of signal and it lets it through, but if you don't give it anything, it just goes dead quiet. <laughs> So with the gate all the way up and the bias all the way up, you just get super squash, sputtery sounds where it, once it lets signal in, it's clamping it down, but then it's blooming, and then as it trails off, it starts to sputter out and get Velcro-y and lose definition. So that's just kind of an example of the gnarly fuzz that you can find in here. So now let's hear the tone control on the fuzz section. So LPF, think of it like a tone control, but it only affects the fuzz section. It doesn't affect the enhanced side of things. So in the LPF1 setting, it's going to sound just like the Haunt. It's going to be darker when it's all the way down. I'll go ahead and bring that gate and bias to about noon. And I'll bring the fuzz down, just so we can get a little more, a little more sound from it. It'll let more in. So as I bring the LPF control up, it's just going to get steadily brighter. So we can go from those kind of dark, almost muddy sounds to really biting high-end stuff. If we switch it to LBF2, 
You're going to hear a little more from the mid-range, but it's still going to have the same sweep where it's brighter at the top and then gets darker as you bring it down. It just has a different voice to it, a different option available. Set it at about noon, pretty neutral sound. Where the haunt gets loudest and gnarliest, we should have like a counter. It's just how many times they say gnarly. Where the haunt gets the most wild is when you put the tone switch to the off position. So this bypasses that knob entirely. There's no tone stack anymore. All the fuzz is just going straight through. So you get, you get some more noise in the top end, but just so much more volume and grit and this like just open, huge fuzz character. Then you can set it back to LPF2, tame it down a little bit. So now let's check out that enhance control. I'm just gonna slowly bring in that boosted signal and show how with this somewhat gated, slightly dark little mid-rangey fuzz, you can bring in a little extra attack and no definition, just clarity in general by bringing in this enhance control. So now we've got this kind of clean attack that has a fuzz behind it because of the way that um, the the way that the gate is compressing your signal versus the way that the enhanced section isn't. So all of your attack comes through in the enhanced setting, and then all this extra fuzz grittiness comes through in the back end. And we'll turn the uh, fuzz volume all the way down and show you. That's enhance alone. So you can turn the fuzz all the way off and get just the enhance setting. And honestly, it sounds kind of gross, but maybe you're into it. I don't know. We like to run them at about equal volumes, so you just get all the definition, but then all the fuzz as well. So on that setting, I'm going to show you what the EQ does. First, we'll bring all the sliders down, which let's talk about these sliders. They just feel great. Feel way better than knobs. It's my favorite part of the alpha hunt. That's not the slider. <laughs> so, here's what the low end is affecting. Sounds great on bass. Sounds just super woofy on a guitar. Here's your mid range. You can get those kind of weird radio sounds out of it, just the mid-range in there. And then here's your high end, which is very like biting, and that's where all the kind of nastiness comes from. So you can do things like uh, pump up your bass and uh, put your low and your high, bring the mids down, just get a nice like scooped fuzz or bring the low and high down, bring the mids up and get just like a mid-boosted kind of solo sound. Just a lot of versatility in there. That's it, that's Alpha Hunt. That's all the controls. We can't show you every setting because there's too many good ones. But now you know about the controls, you know you can get it from us for 229 right now play around with it on your own all right isaac play us out i'll mess with your settings a little bit
This was Dan Explains It All. <laughs>